What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy, and this is One Piece Episodes 41 and 42. We are still in the Arlong Park arc. Arlong Park arc. Arlong Park arc. But now I have a look at this. I got a One Piece hat. Check that out. Yeah, that's from Atsuko, not a sponsor of the video. But uh, yeah, we do have a friend over there who helped me get this, and I think it looks sick. I was at New York Comic Con, and I bought a hat. And some other stuff, I'm going to do like a haul of all my like One Piece stuff that I bought because I bought quite a bit of it. Uh, and I'm excited to show you all that soon. But for now, uh, I have a flight in an hour and a half. Not in an hour and a half, in like three hours. But like I have to leave for the airport in an hour and a half. So right now we're going to watch One Piece because um, I want to. <laughs> this is how I want to be spending my time. If you want the flight through action, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly. But if you don't stay here because you're already here... And this is about to begin. People keep telling me I need to listen. Listen? People keep telling me that I need to listen to the German version. Yes, my name's Sean Connery. And I need to listen to the German version of One Piece. One Piece is my favorite anime. Biorhythm! <laughs> There's like three things in this song I have to sing every time. We are, we are on the cruise! We are. Oh, that's right, Sanji's fucking dead. <laughs> I forgot Sanji was fucking dead. Sanji's insides must be just the most insane x-ray you've ever seen in your life. Come on, Usopp. That's my boy. I know that they call Luffy the rubber boy, but everyone else bounces too. Like, Usopp just got dribbled like a goddamn basketball. Oh, that's right. I forgot Arlong is suddenly like a waterbender. He is the Avatar. <laughs> to kill you, motherfucker. <laughs> this imagery is very good. The butterfly and the spider? That's smart. Hmm, come on, Nami. Oh my god. I don't want Luffy to show up before she makes a choice, right? <laughs> Let's go! Please die with me. This show is fucking great! The thing is, Arlong kills everybody, then he's broke. It doesn't really benefit him. Come on, Nojiko, you got this. You got this! He's mad. He's an angry boy. Zoro's so fucking dead. <laughs> the fact that Zoro and Sanji walk out of this is impossible. <laughs> oh shit! The Russian has been cut! <laughs> the way his rubber limbs bend as she's pulling is really charming and well done. Okay. Yeah, you did, Usopp! Yeah, you did! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I don't know. There's a couple more episodes left. I don't think this is the final chapter, but we'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. Oh, no. What? What? What was he trying to do? <laughs> Come on, Zoro! I love the rainbow in the art there. God damn. Ah, fuck. That is bad. Oh, nose. Did he just take like a nose to the face? Oh, fuck. That's not good. I'm a little worried about that one. Zoro's in, like, they need, the next arc needs to be a break. The next arc needs to be like three months later when Sanji and Zoro have recovered from their indescribable injuries. Taco. Taco Fritter Frenzy. Nojiko! I'm stressed out. Oh my god. Oh, interesting. They don't want to show it. I love that even Arlong can see how scary Zoro really is. ことじゃねえよ。うん。腹こつけのことさ。おお。ゾロ。おお、シット。ちょっと、ビビ。That Oh no, Gensan's about to take Luffy's whole body to the face. Oh, Gensan, let go. Gensan, get out of the way. Is he giving birth? The baby's coming. <laughs> well, I'm glad Gensan didn't die in that. Rorona Zoro blasting off again! Let's go, Luffy! Showing some new skills. I'm really worried that all of this, Arlong's gonna be like, nah, it's not enough to deal with me. Zoro's somewhere like flying. He's about to land on the manatee out in the middle of the ocean. Or the cow-nity? Did we decide what that thing was called? <laughs> he might have saved your life, to be fair. <sighs> oh, your matches are all wet. Yeah, like a quarter of the world, right? Isn't that... Isn't there four oceans? I, st I need to look at a map. Is that a spoil? Is looking at a map a spoiler? Because I don't know where the fuck anything is in this world. Yeah. <laughs> These noise, the sound effects for his nose are very strange. <laughs> Clever. I mean, like, even if Arlong wins this fight, he's kind of lost everything, right? It's kind of interesting, like, Arlong at this point is, is fighting to just, I don't know, have to rebuild all this shit. I don't know, that doesn't... Like, Arlong is really confident about this race thing, but Arlong's the only one that's that strong. The rest of your fishermen have all been taken out, dude. 
And I get it. Racists always have to like hold on to their beliefs, even in the face of obvious rebuttal of those beliefs, right? It's not bad writing. I just am like, Arlong, come on, dude. The man who'll be king of the pirates. All right. Really fun stuff. Uh, one thing I really like about this episode, uh, just starting it off, is I like that it was such a good showcase for Zoro, even though he didn't do much. Um, I thought showing the way in which Arlong was impressed by the tenacity he saw in Zoro's eyes. And, you know, Zoro, or Arlong is not a character as a racist who is, uh, you know, racist towards humans, um, who would be able to see that in many humans. And I think it says a lot about Zoro and what he brings to the table emotionally and, and the depth of his, like, belief in himself and in his mission that this person who believes that humans aren't worth anything um, is even worth killing in this moment, right? I, I think that that says a lot about a character to have, a, you know, to, to basically have their foil be like, oh, shit, you are, you're, you're legit. And so, you know, Zoro gets a couple of moments in this episode. Also, the, like, forward thinking of the octopus, you know, wound opening um, from his previous attacks on the octopus. We, we just got to see some stuff about Zoro here that wasn't action, but was other characters' responses to what he has done previously and that he's just showing in, innately and how that represents his character. Um, it, it's interesting stuff. Uh, I, I like that Usopp is very proud of his accomplishment from the last episode, but is still himself, right? Like, he's still not a coward, but he's not the bravest. Um, well, that's not even true. He's very brave. He's just a realist about how much damage he can take, right? And so I think that this this episode, um, while, while not a lot happened in it, I think that there's a lot of character stuff here that was really fun. Um, and yeah, I, I can see like where you trim time off of this for the live action to get this down to like an episode in Arlong Park, probably two episodes, two or three episodes in Arlong Park. Like, you know, like there, there wasn't a lot of plot here. There's just a lot of like character beats that were, that were good. Um, I, I like the moment of showing Sanji's injuries and even Arlong being like, how are you surviving this? Like what the, f you know, having your heroes impress your villains who, started out the arc by being like you're not worth anything is a really fun way to build your heroes up and, and tell the audience that they're worth following and i think that that was what this episode did a really good job of let's dive into episode 40. gun gun gatling <laughs> and do you want to be my friend we are, we are on the cruise. We, we are. are. All right, see you in four minutes when the episode starts. All right. I know that th there's three more episodes in this arc. I wonder if Luffy beats Arlong in this episode or the next one. Because there will be an episode of wrap-up. There always is, right? But I could see this being the last episode. I could, or of the, of the Arlong fight, right? I feel like Nami's got to get involved in this somehow, right? It feels like that's what's going to happen. I don't know how she gets involved, though, because she can't really hurt Arlong. But I can do it with my feet. Let's go, Luffy. I love that this arc for Arlong is like being shown that his racism is not true. <laughs> he has hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god with the swords in the mouth oh <laughs> 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 Usopp <laughs> Usopp being like, why am I catching strays over here? What, what the fuck? Oh my 
前に勝てる Yeah, you can, Luffy. たりめだクソ野郎。もし死んだらく。おざき、加藤主族。What? <laughs> What? <laughs> What? <laughs> What? <laughs> なんどでも。<laughs> I hate this. Oh, I hate it so much. Is heaven a translation thing, or does like is that Christian heaven? Charming innocence, it just makes him so fun. Come on, Luffy, what do you got? What is the secret plan? Oh, fuck. Luffy hits like a brick shithouse. You know what I mean? Like, for someone who just doesn't weigh very much, he, he like fucking gets in there. Fuck, I hate that Arlong's teeth just come out. It's so weird. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna run out of mass in your body eventually, right? Like, you can't keep creating teeth forever. Without. <laughs> no. I fucking hate that. No, that's disgusting. Oh my god, it's like putting someone's, like, dentures in your mouth. I really want Luffy to use Arlong's teeth to bite Arlong's nose off. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Luffy. Oh, fuck. What a thing to ask a voice actor to do. We need a 12 second scream. Can you give us 12? Ah, fuck. Our team needs a vacation. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> oh, be careful. He's about to, like, water pistol you. God, he is so obsessed with, like, genetics. Makes sense he's a villain. Genetics really don't matter that much. It's how you treat people. It's what matters. And Arlong doesn't fucking get that. But he looks great. What a fucking great tattoo. Or, uh, design. And tattoo. Ow, 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 ow. You know what? I would love to know, Sanji. I would love to know. Oh, fuck. This is brutal. That's the Luffy we know and love. Alright. Oh, God.
Oh, he caught it! Okay! What's the next step, Luffy? <laughs> Don't go in the water. Fishing! Fishing! <laughs> Come on, Luffy. Luffy's showing off some new abilities here. Right in the solar plexus. Oh my god, his eyes. Yeah, he's in like blood rage shark mode, right? Whoa. God, break that nose. Although knowing our long it would just like grow back out again. <laughs> Boy was I stunned. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> that is sick. Some of the imagery in this Arlong Park art, god damn. What a way to climb a building, just twirling your- <laughs> These two? These two are just gonna die from reacting to what is happening. <laughs> is this Nami's room? Let's just have a chat. <laughs> Your friend? No. She is our navigator. <laughs> All right. Another two episodes done. Another step forward in the Arlong Park arc. And I gotta say, I'm excited for the conclusion. I am. I I like watching Arlong get hurt at this point. It brings me joy. Uh, and watching him lose his teeth that first time, oh, I felt good. Shot in Freuda, as they say. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's so interesting the way that they've portrayed Luffy against Arlong. Um, and particularly there in that last scene, I, I really like the idea that Arlong is using the word friend in a way that l is so disingenuous. And Luffy isn't using the word friend, but that is what is underneath all of his actions, right? And it is the difference between saying something and meaning something and I, I really love that they give that to Luffy you know he's a lot of things and not all of them are great right he's he's too honest he's too um candid as Zef said but he is genuine even when he is maybe not able to express that in the most healthy way and it's why he's easy to follow as a main character even though he's dumb and I think that dumb main characters are really hard to pull off right in t having a low intelligence main character is really tricky because in a lot of scenes and scenarios, your audience is going to be smarter than the main character, is going to be a little bit ahead of him. And so it, it can be really hard to write this. And it's why I think a lot of people avoid writing genius main characters. Like unless you're doing like Sherlock Holmes, usually you'll have like a really smart side character and a really dumb side character. And then the main character kind of falls somewhere in the middle. I would argue that of the Straw Hats, Luffy's intelligence score is the least among them, right? And they keep him interesting as a protagonist by having his, like, charisma and heart be so strong that it overcomes that. And it plays on... It just plays on that idea so well. And it's, it's 
it's rare. It's rare to have a protagonist that I can be like, wow, this guy's an idiot that I also like, I'm like, I really care about him and I love him and I want everything to go well for him. And I think the writing that Oda uses to show where his intentions come from and where his, like, when, when things do finally click for Luffy, where that comes from, which is usually something that the audience has already caught on to, right? The Luffy gets to last, but the audience gets there first and then gets to see Luffy catch up to the audience. And it, it makes us get a little bit closer to him. It helps us understand him better. I, I think that that is really strong writing for a show like this. And it's just it's just great stuff. Like, I, I really enjoy it. It's ridiculous and over the top and yet also emotionally moving and all the things I keep saying, right? It's fun. I like the show a lot. I'm excited to watch the end of it, though. This, part, this, this arc has, like, kind of gotten to... Like, if it had ended here, I would have been okay with it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I think that you could cut two or three episodes out of this just by moving things a little bit quicker. That's fine, though. I think these two episodes together told a nice little story to get us to the point where next... We're on Thursday? No, next next week. No, on Monday, uh, you'll be able to chime, ch tune in and, and chime in in the comments down below about the finale of Arlong Park arc before we go on to whatever's... I have <laughs> literally have no idea what's next. Um, but I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to see these characters... I'm I'm nervous about Nami's goodbye because I know she's gonna go with them. I, I I she she's going to save Kokoyashi Village, but she's still not. It's not her place anymore. You know what I mean? Like she fought so hard to save it, but I don't feel like she would be happy living there. Um. And so I I think she's gonna leave, but I think that her goodbye to Nojiko is gonna be rough. So I'm excited to watch it. I'm excited to get there. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her. This episode, that algorithm goddess is Nami because this is still still her arc, really. Even though Luffy is going to punch that stupid shark man in the face so many times and I'm going to love every single one. Arlong, uh, definitely the best villain so far. Arlong is like a 9.7 out of 10 villain. You know what I mean? Um... The only, the only thing that makes Arlong not like a perfect 10 out of 10 is I don't think that he would be a great villain for a very, like, as like the series villain, right? Um, but for this arc, he's a 10 out of 10. He's an like incredible, incredible top tier, S tier villain. Uh, the way he's been handled. I, I just, I love it so much. And um, I can't wait to see him get his ass kicked. <laughs> if you want to follow me on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. But as always, y'all, do something nerdy tonight. Bye. Thank you.